So how did you end up in the football casual scene? Oh, well, well, well this is another story. Um, <clears throat> well, in them days, the archway lot, we used to call ourselves the archway suicide squad and uh, young guys, you know, and we all got together. But the reason, the, well, the real reason, all right, folks, you got to find out all your Arsenal lot watching this or in this, you're going to find out the real reason why I was one of you. Because a lot of my Arsenal friends were good looking. And I was and I was gay. <laughs> I mean, I was shocked. And I see that one over there, blonde, blue eyed. Wow, that one over there. Look at him. And they wore tight jeans and they looked hot and nice. So I went around <laughs> there, basically to to you know. And they all liked me. They loved me. They loved my character. They loved the way I was going on. They didn't know I was gay, but I. So I went. I went over there. I don't forget. I had no family. They were my family. So for me, it was more of a family thing. But at the same time, I used to eye them all up. But I can do that. Oh, ooh, beautiful, beautiful <laughs> boys, beautiful boys. Mm. Yeah. So eventually they all found out I was gay. Mm. And most of them were okay. One or two uh, back in this. I said, well, you know, the one who said, fuck this, tell him to come up to my face and say, fuck this. I, I beg him. I wish he would come. I'm, I wanted to come. Who was that, Peter, coming out in like the 80s and stuff? Was that, that must have been a difficult thing. Listen, difficult. Because even people struggle with it now, 2022. Difficult, listen, the whole existence been difficult. So that was just another layer on top of the difficult, difficult, difficult. <laughs> so it, for me, yeah. it, I said, bring it on. It was coming from every angle. The difficultness has mm -hmm. been there from eight months. So that was just another difficult situation.